Hello, and welcome to That's the Point, where we talk about all of the amazingness that is construction technology, advanced positioning. My name is Corey Meyer, and here with my colleague Jeremy Horn. What is up? Hey, how's it going? All right, you're back, so that means we're going to be doing something in FieldLink, I'm guessing. So today we're going to go into one of those common topics that we see in the field, at the support desk, um, and a lot of times we found that it's a very, very successful way um, of getting FieldLink back to the kind of the way it was when it first got out of the box. Um, and that's this idea of hidden files, uh, or ghost files, you'll hear it called as well, um, which I think ghost files sounds much, much cooler. But let's jump in today and talk about ghost files and what you can do to get it out of your system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you guys know, as you've probably seen in the field, uh, you know, every once in a while, the, the software is just going to start doing some weird things or some wonky things um, that doesn't really have a good explanation as to why it's happening. Uh, so, and you might have even have heard us, you know, mention the ghost file before. Uh, but we just want to kind of take you through the process of, of kind of getting rid of that. And really, it's just a, it's a field link folder where it's a cache file where kind of stuff gets dumped into. And for whatever reason, we've just found, and, you know, uh, from support and other things, when we, when we kind of clear that folder out, start it over, it, it alleviates some of those things that we see that kind of just are unexplainable. First off, from the desktop, make sure field link's closed. Um, you know, we're going to start with just clicking on the C drive. Uh, from Once we click on the C drive, we're going to go down and select the users folder. Uh, from here, we're going to select, in this case, this user could be a little bit different. In my case, it says Trimble. Because that's um, the default. That's right. the default, right. But, it, you know, if your user for your tablet is your name or company, it, it, it might reflect one of those things. But we are going to select that uh, user folder in this your case. Your user folder. Yep. Correct. Um, once we select that user folder, we're going to want to select the app data folder. Now, another thing that's going to probably default is this app data folder is hidden, like we talked about going to the hidden folder. So we need to go up there to view and check hidden items. Now you'll see the app data folder pops in. I'm going to select app data. Local, we're going to see the field link folder. So there's the field link folder. I simply delete. Boom. Now it's gone. Uh, and I will also mention when, when we open FieldLink, it's going to it will reset your settings, your job settings. So we'll, you will need to go back there. It's going to you know default to meters and all that stuff. Um, but it's not getting rid of any job site data, any project data, anything like that. It's just your system preferences within FieldLink. Absolutely. So yeah, you're not no no danger of of, of destroying anything or messing up your job or anything. Really, there's only upside. The only you know it can only get better with deleting this file. <laughs> Right. It's kind of like sweeping the floor every once in a while. Your floor gets a little dirty. Sometimes you got to sweep it up. Yeah, you know, that kind of. And that's it. So that's the hidden file. It's a really, really simple step. Uh, maybe maybe support in the field or the support desk, you know, told you to get rid of the ho hidden or the ghost files. This is the simple process you go through uh, to remove that from your system and keep it ship shape. Yep. So, well, Jeremy, thanks for coming in, talking yep. about this quick one. So okay. if you have any other questions, make sure you reach out to this, our support desk. We're happy to help you. And as always, uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss all of our latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.